Hey guys, Chris here, the RC Geek. Welcome back. Today we're doing something a little bit different. You know, I got my start in scale modeling, building plastic models. Grew up in my dad's hobby shop and I was regularly building models all the time. So as you can see, I've got my little geeks here. This is... Christopher. And this is... Rebecca. And you know, it's 2016. We are in the future. So we picked up a couple back to the future cars uh, it's a polar lights snap together kit and we thought it'd be fun to do a little family build you know we'll let you know how this kit is it looks like a lot of fun uh, as you can see it's got a nice stainless steel finish on the body so that's really cool you know the delorean apparently it was stylish i don't know uh, how they determined that for the movie but uh, it's a pretty awesome car I actually you still see him driving on the roads periodically all right so let's get started on building this car, and we'll report back to you guys. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> So a few hours, a hockey game, and some ice cream later, we have our finished Back to the Future DeLoreans. Man. You know, before we start, favorite Back to the Future movie? Uh, the second one. Yeah, what about you? The awesome third one. Oh, so I guess she loves a good western. Adjectives. <laughs> Love those movies, some of my favorites. They're awesome movies. So here is the finished product. And Me. you know, you get a, a nice looking <laughs> rendition of the DeLorean. It's got the nice stainless steel finish that comes out of the box, which is really cool. Parts fit was okay. You know, it snaps together, but... Um, My wheel fell off. <laughs> <laughs> no! uh, you know, I, I finished mine, just painting it as I went, uh, about six hours or so. He had his done in about an hour, uh, and then came back, spent another hour or so doing some additional painting. Parts fit was okay. There was a bunch of ejector pin flashings that I had to clear away, but otherwise, easy to put together, went together real fast. It was a lot of fun. We had a good time doing it. Rebecca, she was kind of here for moral support, but I think next time, you know, we'll do this again and we'll get her a, a model too, and we'll all three build and just have a good time. It was a lot of fun. So, what do you think? It was good. Yeah? Did the parts fit okay? It fit, fit a great? little bit. A little bit. Okay. What else? What did you think of it? It didn't turn out that well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. So you got the two options. Uh, this one has the lightning rod from the first movie. And then I opted for the Mr. Fusion. Uh, so that way it's all self-contained and I don't have a nice breakable lightning rod on the back. So, this will be a nice addition. Thanks so much for watching. You know, this was the inaugural video with my brand new GoPro. We used a GoPro to do the time lapse for you. So that was a lot of fun. I was really excited to use it. You know, these guys, you've probably seen them in my videos. I figured I should include them in this next one. So, I think we'll do this family build again. We had a really good time. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you. That's the field. Yay!
a couple of <laughs> what is so funny? What? <laughs> See what I have to work with? 